Pressure Area Assessment is a skill added in an MCOSCE from 2021. This is a silent station which means you don't need to verbalize anything in this skill station. Time limit is 8 minutes. You will be given a scenario with 3 questions according to scenario, and you will be given a Braden scale as well. Your job is to assess the scenario, calculate the Braden scale score, identify the most vulnerable areas of pressure rhythm, and signs of pressure ulcer development. In this article, we will be providing you information for passing this station of OSCE. Since this is a silent station, you don't need to say anything. You will be given a scenario and Brayton scale for calculating the score. Here are the things you should keep in mind. You need to complete the Brayton tool accurately and correctly calculates the subscores and overall score based on the patient scenario and pressure damage identified. Then you also need to identify the vulnerable areas of pressure risk and need to write signs of pressure ulcer development. To get full marks, you need to identify minimum of eight areas of which are vulnerable to pressure ulcer development, as well as seven signs of pressure ulcer development. Vulnerable areas of pressure risk are the following. Heels, sacrum, ischial tuberosities, buttocks, elbows, temporal region of the skull, shoulders, femoral trochanters, hips, back of head, toes, ears, spine. To achieve full marks, the candidate needs to identify a minimum of eight areas. For partial marks, the candidate needs to identify a minimum of five areas. Signs of pressure ulcer development are the following. Persistent erythema, flushing of the skin, non-blanching hyperemia, discoloration of the skin that does not change when pressed, blisters, discoloration, localized heat, localized edema, localized endurations, abnormal hardening, purplish or bluish localized areas, localized coolness if tissue death has occurred. To achieve full marks, the candidate needs to identify a minimum of seven signs. For partial marks, the candidate needs to identify a minimum of four signs. You need to document your findings and answers accurately, clearly and legibly. Braden scale can be downloaded from the link in description. To conclude, even though this skill station seems to be simple, you can fail in this station if you incorrectly calculate the Braden score, or if you fail to memorize and write the vulnerable areas, signs of pressure sore development. Make sure that you learn those thoroughly before attempting the skill. You also need to learn properly the marking criteria given for this skill. Thanks for watching, for detailed article on this skill, and for all of your NMC OSCE doubts. Please visit www.ossetrainer.com. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe our channel.